Hi everyone, this is my vlog of Iceland. Me and my mom went in late June and it was the best experience ever. Here at Cafe Loki, they have a uh, traditional Icelandic food. So I got the lamb with potatoes and my mom got an assortment of fish uh, sandwiches with the rye bread ice cream, which was amazing. I don't know if you guys can tell in these next two shots, but there's so many gnats and flies at this waterfall. Holy crap. Our time at Sky Lagoon was so relaxing and everything felt so luxe and I just love how they preserved and intertwined their natural environment in the lagoon with their mountains, the rocks, the moss, the water there. It was such a vibe. At Sky Lagoon, you do a seven step ritual, and this one was my favorite uh, going into the sauna. These views were breathtaking. I could have stayed there all day if it wasn't so hot <laughs> inside there. Icelanders love their ice cream, so I had to try it, and it did not disappoint. Do you see all these options? So you choose three things, and they mix it together in a blizzard. We got blueberry Oreos and Icelandic candy called Crop. The views during the drives were so beautiful, and you'd always see horses or sheep along the way. Walking behind Sajalanfoss was hands down my favorite moment of being in Iceland. It was just so surreal and beautiful. This beach is one of the most dangerous beaches in the world uh, due to its sneaker waves. So I'm not sure why that guy was getting so close, but I was like scared for him. Skogafoss is unique in that you can take stairs up to the top of the waterfall. We skipped out on that though because it was 500 steps and we we're feeling really lazy. <laughs> I recommend anyone coming to Reykjavik to go to this cafe. The hot chocolate was the best. It was so good. And the food was impeccable and the desserts. Literally everything was so good. Everything in Iceland is really expensive. Even when we went thrifting and vintage shopping, the prices were insane. I didn't end up buying anything. This next waterfall required a little bit of a walk to get there because you were literally in the middle of a mountain, just surrounded by rocks. It was amazing. We checked out some Icelandic art while we were there and I believe this was uh, sheep's wool dyed into a million different colors which was really trippy and really stunning. We sat at the cafe there where we got a frozen rosé and I just love how all the decorations there match the art exhibit. 
As you can hear in the clip, the wind was next level this day, and I felt like we were gonna like fly away. I feel like you can't go to Iceland without going to the Blue Lagoon, so that's where we went on our last day, and it was the best way to end the trip. At Blue Lagoon, you get a free drink, and we got this green smoothie, which was so good that we took note of the ingredients so we could make it at home. Here, we're wearing the silica mask, and silica is actually what makes the Blue Lagoon so blue. This restaurant is right by the airport, so this is the last meal we got before we came back to Canada. Unfortunately, this trip to Iceland was unforgettable and I can't wait to come back.